Life of a New Englander. What? Shoveling. So my silver came in today. It's actually one fine troy ounce of silver. I think I'm gonna show you guys the rest of my silver and stuff. Uh, not right now, because I'm going on to eat with Dave, but, and my planner also came in. So I can finally get all my stuff organized. Like when my, um, what was it, when my classes are, when things are due and stuff like that. It's snowing. It is snowing, alright. It's not snowing a lot. I don't think we're supposed to get too much today. But on Wednesday, I think we're supposed to get, like... Eight inches, maybe? I'm not exactly sure. That was off of one person, so I'm not too sure how much we're supposed to get, but I feel kind of bad if we miss another one of our uh, management information systems class. Because that was a class where I had, um, it got canceled the first day of class because it was a snowstorm. And I kind of don't want to get canceled again. Um, I, I like that class. The professor is pretty chill. And he's been all over the world and everything. She blows. Still, I absolutely love the scenery though. Like, just like right after a snowstorm, or we're kind of in the middle of a snow flurry right now, but when everything just kind of frosted over just a little bit, I really think that's it's, it's really, really nice. Um, almost reminds me of an ice storm, which I don't know if you guys know what an ice storm is. Uh, it's pretty much when it rains and then all the rain freezes and it's pretty much just ice over everywhere and it's really dangerous primarily because I mean it's ice so you have power outages because the lines are being um, taken down and everything or you have like trees that uh, will bend over really far and fall I know last year we actually had um, a tree that came down and or uh, was a branch that came down and smashed our fence because of just how heavy that the ice was. I have no idea how this is going to look. So earlier I showcased you guys my um, one troy ounce of fine silver. And I'm not exactly sure who mints this kind, but I kind of wanted to show you guys uh, some of my other silver products. And this is a 1921, what was it? Peace dollar, silver peace dollar, which is 90% silver, and it is a 1921. This one was given to me by my grandmother, and it's it's up there in uh, pricing value. I believe these ones go for around 150 to 200 dollars, depending on the um, the quality of the mint and how much it's been circulated. So I have that. I have my uh, PCGS MS69 First Strike Silver Eagle. This was, I believe, the 2012 edition. And as you can see, I was planning on collecting these every year, but I kind of stopped. Now, for a monetary value, I believe this is only this is only worth one dollar, but for uh, intrinsic value or for uh, melting value, it's whatever the market price is right now. So it's I think the market price is like $20 per silver troy ounce. I think, I forget how uh, much that is. And then I also have my Sunshine Minting. I have more of these, but these are just like some examples of what I have. Um, this is one troy ounce as well. This is more of a fine mint. Uh, the other one was just kind of like whatever, but this is more of like a fine um, troy ounce. And then you have my Pomp Suisse uh, silver troy ounce. Actually, this is more than troy ounce. I think this is. Well, actually, that's one troy ounce. Um, but this is some of the purest stuff in the world. They're known around the world for uh, the purity of them. Very, very, very few impurities and very nice packaging in a, the assay tray. Um, and then I have. The only gold I own is this little bugger. 
Little tiny Palm Swiss Gold. I believe that's is it one gram of gold. That was like 70 bucks. But, yeah, that's all I own. And, yeah. Now, starting tomorrow, turn off the light. Starting to, ooh. Can you guys see that? I don't know if you guys can see me, but yeah, starting tomorrow, I'm gonna be uh, moving all my gold and silver into um, a deposit box or something similar to that, just to kind of keep it away from everybody, so it's not just like floating around here. So that's gonna be going on tomorrow. Uh, today, after we did the Mandarin, I've been doing homework for like three and a half straight hours, so it really hasn't been too much going on. Kind of sucks. It does suck, um, but on the upper hand, um, tomorrow I go to I go to work and I go to school, so that shouldn't be too bad. All right, so I'm really tired, so I'm gonna go to bed. So I'll see you guys tomorrow.